All right, Ricky, man, I want to have Gary had the tea and the color of the day. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Friday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. It is finally over, y'all. They're saying that Tashina Arnold is finally single. Now, they're saying she's back on the market, y'all. Now, it's been reported, y'all, that her long and bitter divorce process is over. Now, according to legal documents, y'all, they're saying that a judge signed off on Tashina's divorce from her longtime basketball coach um husband, Dorico Hines, on July the 15th. Now, they're saying it's been a long time coming. And as was reported, y'all, they're saying, y'all, that um, the announcement she had been divorcing, y'all, since way back in 2016, after she claimed, y'all, her wonderful husband, um, there was a sex tape of him with another woman, y'all. They say she found that tape, honey. And they're saying, y'all, a rep for her husband, who currently works for the Toronto Raptors, declined to comment specifically on the allegations, but acknowledged mm-hmm. that the couple was dealing with a private and deeply personal matter during that time. But they say it wasn't until August of last year that she finally went forward, y'all, with filing the paperwork. And they're saying it was more than five years later. Now, on the documents, they say she noted the um, um, usual irreconcilable differences, but did list, y'all, that the date of separation Operation as January the 12th, 2016, which was about three and a half years after they had tied the night. Now, she's saying that we're all now, everything has been settled. They're saying that Tashina and Rico are happy now. And they're saying, according to the documents, each will keep their jewelry, their clothing, and bank accounts. That's what they get to keep, y'all. Well, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because I guess if you like, you, you leave with what you came with, so to speak, honey. So she, you know, get to keep all her stuff, and he get to keep his stuff, though. But I could imagine she was happily in love with this man and found a dog on sex tape of him and another woman. I mean, how do you do that? I mean, do yeah, y'all not hide yeah, these I would things? hate to find you see a sex tape on your girl and you have to sit there and watch it. Tell her, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never heard her make them sounds. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, honey, she's now wow. single and back on the market. So, congratulations to Tashina. Yeah, get mad on the front end. Why you pull my good hair like that? <laughs> <laughs> So, honey, moving on. In oh, other celebrity news, y'all, now, Sheree, what is it? Uh, Sheree, uh, <laughs> Sheree, Sheree Whitfield, y'all, from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, is saying that this woman always seeming to choose the wrong men. When I was reported, because we talked about it earlier this week, that she was dating Love and Marriage Huntsville star Martell Holt. Well, y'all, Martell Holt has confirmed, y'all, that that's a lie. Ooh, now, ooh. There, there's some people saying, honey, that Martell is apparently speaking out and claiming that Sheree is lying about their relationship. Now, they're saying, y'all, that Martell said that, honey, he is not having a relationship with Sheree, but what he's doing is he's building a pool for her at her mansion, and he said he had to pull the permits and suck from the local government. Wow. He said, but they're saying his friends are saying that he is not dating her. Mm. Wow. That's Didn't a that, weird twist. Isn't that a weird twist? Wow. So you but think, it was, he, you think it was, he maybe just, you know. It was weird that he was dating her, that they were an item anyway. Even though they might not be friends, they both are in entertainment. They both are women of a certain age and divorced and, done, and dealt with cheating. It just seemed like a weird fit because they're too connected. But them beach pictures they took, it seemed like they was, you know, something was going on. Yeah, but then people didn't know if that was them or not, though. I thought I thought people said that. No, they didn't like take them. any beach pictures. They have pictures at her house by her pool. Now you saying that it wow. makes so, so much, much sense. sense. Yes, he yeah. had no shirt on. He's it's hot outside. He's working on the pool. I think he's smart. <laughs> yeah, Allegedly. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, we just gotta pray, y'all, because yeah. I don't like the idea that so he putting Sheree out there, making her like she's a liar and stuff. Because there's enough people already on the show trying to say that she lied about she by Sheree and all that other <laughs> stuff. Her clothing line. But she was on, a, on one of them uh, new. Uh, uh, she was on one of them shows talking about it, the one, uh, TMZ or something. She, she was yeah, there. a reporter came to her and asked her about the allegations and yeah. if, in fact, they're dating. And she said, they're, she says, I know him. We've met each other. We uh, fell for each other quickly. We've met each other's family. Exactly. And uh, he just wanted to make it very clear. I think that's Melanie Holt, personally. Mm. Yeah, well, whatever situation is, though, because, you know, then she, she by Sheree, her um, ex-boyfriend, um, Tyrone Gillum, said that she lied about him standing her up. Yeah. But we saw it on the show, though, so, I mean. He it, broke that down, though. He said he did not have um, permission by his uh, probation officer to never leave going. state, and he was never going to go. She knew that, and he was not going to get in trouble and get risk going back to jail. Right, because mm. they don't play with that when you're in jail. They don't care about no TV stuff. They want to treat you just like you somebody regular. You was an inmate in there. You ain't nobody special. 
Yeah, but, I mean, she gave him money. She put money on his books and stuff and helped him out while he was in the jail. He could have at least paid, made the decent enough to go appear with her on the show. And he could have gone back to jail. He couldn't. You want him to risk going back to jail to appear on the show? Well, at least we don't know who he was. For so. a second until he was inmate number yeah, well, again. Let's just pray. Keep Sheree lifting and proud like Sheree. All right, the Kahlua today, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua's. My Kahlua today, that's cognac. On the high end, you say cognac, and on the low end, you say beautiful maple. That's your Kahlua for today. <laughs> All right, y'all give it up for Gary with a team.